Now we are discussing agriculture and elite sector. Here we discussed one thing that is very important is value addition. Value addition is very important and we need to develop infrastructure. We need to develop infrastructure for post harvest uh, on the post harvest front that is cold storages, silos with temperature control mechanism. Apart from this second aspect that is being emphasized in foreign trade policy is organic exports. Now presently India's export of organic product is almost negligible. But recognizing the value of organic agriculture for exports particularly in the highly discerning markets like European Union, US, Japan, they are having huge demand of organic products. So it is necessary for India to promote organic agriculture export to derive greater market realization because they are in high demand. This sector requires special attention. Organic export product sector requires special attention. This includes major investment in technical capacities and outreach to the sec to the states particularly northeastern states basically northeastern states are very much conducive for the cultivation of organic products in northeastern states there is huge potential for organic agriculture in fact sikkim has chosen to be an organic state in order for sikkim to draw advantage from from this foreign trade policy a package will be made in consultation with the government of Sikkim to facilitate export of, of organic products from Sikkim. Similar such initiatives from among other northeastern states will be encouraged. So export of processed agriculture products that is value addition in agriculture and export of organic products will be the key drivers in this sector. Now let us come on to plantation products. Plantation is a part of agriculture. Plantation product. Now you see the plantation sector directly supports livelihood of about 18 lakh people. And these are small growers. These 18 lakh small growers. And more than 33 lakhs workers. In plantation sector, most of the people who are deployed or employed, they, most of them are resource poor. Most of them are from low income group. Most of these people live in tribal and geographically challenging terrain in a sustainable and eco-friendly manner. So this sector requires special emphasis because it is providing livelihood to the marginalized section of society. Plantation today face a number of challenges. What are the challenges? Now we find stagnation in productivity. Why? Because of aging plant material. The plant have got become old. So the yield there, there is stagnation in yield. Impact of climate change is also amply visible in plantation sector. Moreover, there is problem of pests, there is problem of scarcity of labor, volatile international prices and stringent food security regulation in importing countries. So these are the challenges that are being faced by plantation sector. To ensure that plantation remains commercially viable and attractive investment, these issues assume importance. Now these issues need to be addressed. First, productivity enhancement has to be done. This productivity enhancement is a major goal for all plantation products, particularly tea and coffee, alongside productivity expansion of the production base. The area under production need to be expanded. It is an, another challenge how to expand the area under plantation. This is particularly relevant for rubber and spices. Basically, through intensive efforts, rubber plantation have expanded phenomenally in Tripura. Previously, rubber plantation was confined to Kerala. Kerala. Through rigorous effort, they have extended in Tripura. But there is still huge scope for expanding the rubber plantation in number of northeastern states. To basically, Assam and other states of northeast have huge potential for rubber plantation. 
programs for expansion of rubber will be initiated in Chhattisgarh, in Jharkhand, in parts of Odisha and Maharashtra. By way of expanding area under rubber, its production will be increased. Rubber is one of those agriculture products whose yield has increased by six times since independence. But area has not expanded. We need to expand, expand the area under rubber plantation. Coffee plantations are adversely affected by pests, particularly the stem borer. This pest is very adversely affecting the coffee plantation. Effective means of neutralizing the impact of this pest need to be found. research development There should be effective means of neutralizing the impact of this pest through scientific and technical technological methods and collaborative research. We need to find a solution for this pest. India occupies an important position in export of all plantation crops. It India is in fact leader in spices and plays an important role in the export of coffee and tea. While tea exports have remained stagnant, but in case of coffee exports, they have grown steadily, but they need to grow even further. Now, the next important sector that is very crucial, very crucial for India's manufacturing and that needs special emphasis is micro, small and medium enterprises. MSME. Basically this sector is very important. Micro, small and medium enterprises is so important. This sector contributes about 45% of the total country's manufacturing output. Micro, small and medium enterprises account for 45% of manufact total manufacturing output of the country. It accounts for over 40% of total exports of the country. And it accounts for around 8%, 8% of country's GDP. They, this sector contributes significantly to employment generation and development in rural areas. Now, as MSME sector is one of the key drivers of India's transition from an agrarian economy to an industrialized one, because in rural areas, small micro these are scattered all across the country. These are scattered all across the country, and it is said that MSME sector is the key driver of India's transition from agrarian economy to industrialized economy through its contribution to improving entrepreneur skills and economic empowerment. This MSME sector has immensely benefited India's economy. MSME feed local consumer market as well as international value chains. This sector currently produces more than 6,000 quality products ranging from handloom sarees to auto and machine parts. The potential of MSME sector, the basically the potential of the sector, the problem it faces and the requirements have been kept in view while framing the foreign trade policy because this sector is very important because as we have discussed its contribution. Now after this manufacturing, now let us come on to the service sector. The foreign policy statement in its section 4 discusses the service sector. Service sector has emerged as a prominent sector and it contributes around 58% of the GDP of the country. Service sector accounts for 58% of the GDP of the country and 28% of the employment. That is out of total employment, service sector generates 28% of employment. Its contribution to total trade is 25%. The contribution of service sector to total trade is 25%. It accounts for 35% of total exports and 20% of total imports. That is 
out of all market total merchandise service export services account for 35% of total export and 20% of total imports this sector accounts for more than 50% of fdi flow into the country the service sector in india has in general grown at a rate that is higher than overall gdp growth rate of the country the increasing surplus basically how do we manage to curb down the trade deficit the mercantile trade we have used trade deficit it is the net service surplus that compensates to a large extent the increasing surplus from service trade has helped to offset a major part of mercantile trade deficit thereby keeping a check on current account deficit the share of india's service export in world export of services has grown phenomenally india's share of service export in world export in 1990 india's share of service export in world service export was 0.6% in 2000 india's share of service export became 1% of the world service export in 2000 and in 2013 India's share of service export is 3.3 percent of world's service export. The share of India's service export in world service export has been increasing at a faster rate than the share of India's merchandise export in world exports. The service export witnessed a double-digit growth between 2002-3 to 2008-9. because in 2007 8 8 9 there was global slowdown which between 2002 3 to 2008 9 india's service sector service exports witnessed a double digit growth in fact in 2004 5 the export growth of service sector was 60% the export growth rate was 60% but this growth in service export has declined in the aftermath of financial crisis in 2013 14 the service export stood at 151 billion dollar and service import stood at 78 billion dollar as a result net service surplus stood at 73 billion dollar you simply service subtract the service export from service import that is 73 billion dollar that is net service export was 73 billion dollar the declining rate of growth now the growth rate of service export has declined is this primarily is due to impact of global slowdown that is global financial crisis and slowdown in us and european union thus in service export it and it enabled services in total export this sector it and it enabled services account for about 50% of the total service export but if you take into account net service in this this accounts for 90% because in it and it enabled services we are merely exporter we don't import so this sector account for 50% of total service is service exports and in in case of net service export this sector account for 90% why because we are because we are net exporters of it and it enabled service we do not import now basically about 80% of it and it enabled service export is targeted towards west 80% of IT and IT enabled export is targeted towards US and European Union. United States account for 60% of total IT enabled export and European Union account for 20% of the total IT enabled export. And any slowdown in US and European Union this will lead to protectionist tendencies in these countries. and these are bound to decrease our it exports and therefore it is important that we go for market diversification in it sector 
so that even if there is a slowdown in Europe and US, we can diversify, we can export the IT export to some other destination. And this makes imperative that diversification of market and diversification of products in the area of IT enabled services is important. That is, we must focus towards Japan, China and South Korea. They can be a promising market. We must also focus towards Japan, South Korea and China because they can be a promising market. But India's business are hampered in this part because of language barrier. In Japan, Korea and China, India's IT market is hampered. In China, it is state-owned opaque market. It is nothing is clear in IT sector. And second is Indian business is hampered by way of language constraints and unique feature of these market. The entry to pharma and entry to IT is limited. Once this entry is there, our trade deficit will disappear. Basically, there we face language barriers and unique nature of this market. So measures need to be taken for facilitating market access for Indian business in these markets. We have advantage in various services which are incidental to manufacturing. Now what is it? There are certain manufacturing where services are also incidental and it can bring about transformational efficiency to manufacturing sector. Certain manufacturing, manufacturing also requires certain services. So if that service is available at a cheaper rate, then manufacturing will become more efficient. Or vaise bhi in general, the, now the structure of manufacturing in many countries, including India, is becoming more and more service oriented. That is more and more sophisticated. So there is increasing ser serviceification of manufacturing. Better services will improve the competitiveness of manufacturing sector. Now, for example, efficient and reliable infrastructure services such as transport, distribution, finance, telecommunication, professional services are essential for cost effective production. The service sector have a critical role to play in Make in India initiative. Considering the impact of technology on service delivery, the government of India has recognized the overwhelming importance of mobile device in India's growth. Because now technology is making the service delivery to my pass mobile phone and you are having various apps, various apps. So what it is saying, impact of technology on service delivery is huge and recognizing this the government of India has recognized the overwhelming importance of mobile device in India's growth and development agenda. The Digital India Initiative pledges to deliver universal mobile access to all citizens by 2018. A global exhibition on services will be held annually. This would be opportunity to showcase India's strength in service sector. These exhibitions are must. Financial assistance for export of service is also being expanded through a new ambitious and user friendly served from India scheme which is being launched as a part of foreign trade policy. So this was the fourth part that contains services. And the fifth part is section 5 that is trade promotion and infrastructure.